<clears throat> okay, what I'm going to be covering today um, is the uh, where you can find the source code, the types of source code, meta tags, lists, forms, and options that you might provide somebody with. Um, these are fairly clear um, uh, and concise sections of the source code that you're going to find behind the site. The site I'm looking at in this particular instance you'll see is gtalk to voip. The source code can be found in this location. By going to source code you'll find that the script will come up from the um, aspects of the coding in front of us. Now you'll see straight away that this is an HTML source code. You'll also see that the meta tags start here and go through down to here. Now the reason why this is important is this will attract search engines and will lead a user to find this, say for example on Google or any other search engine, they may all find that this site is highlighted by the search engine because of the meta tag description. More people are beginning to actually accept keywords um, and uh, they're trying to accept keywords etc as part of the search facility. So, the keywords are important. We're going to look at our next section, which is lists. Now, you can see here we have a series of lists. Lists that may well be relevant to the um, aspect that we're looking at. So, we've covered the source code, the type of source code, we've looked at meta tags. So we now know that we can have a variety of information within our um, data uh, available to us and as I scroll down here we've found, we've just gone past one aspect that I'll come back to as an extra for you but you can see that we have quite a lot of information here and we have lists can be called to your IM for any phone, um, a whole series of different forms of lists and they are going to relate to lists like that there. So as I look further down the screen I can also, or further up the screen rather, I can also find um, incoming calls from any phone, receiving calls, and we have here the list section that relates to here. Okay, so if I go back to the lists, I can see voice call between, sending offline messages, calling SIP and SIP services, which as you can see here, we have calling SIP and SIP services. So fairly clear information there. The option values. Now, this is where forms start. Forms um, are very clearly set out by the form tag, and you can see here I've highlighted all the aspects of the form and the option values there. Now, the option values in that particular instance uh, will be to do with this form here and values. And in actual fact, this would indicate to us the MSN is being used, Google Talk or um, AIM, or other Jabber account. So you can see there the list of items in the options value section. So we've looked at forms and we've looked at options. These are a series of different aspects of the information that you will find on the website. All clearly indicated for us um, and the fact that you have the email option there 
you invite yes that will send it to this the provider and you also have the option to unsubscribe and that's within the form section if you want to look through the video again um, you, you'd see that information uh, clearly provided I hope this has been of some use I know I found source coding fascinating when I first started off uh, and this is just a small aspect of many of the different parts of source coding thank you for taking the time to watch this video uh, my name is John Ferris it's been a pleasure uh, sharing with you um, all the aspects of source coding. I will just add on the bottom of here if you'd like to know more that is my email address thank you for taking the time to watch the video and I hope you are able to watch a few more thank you